From frosty cold to blistering hot, the BMW comes from the polar circle to South Africa. Surrounded by dust and high temperatures, the car has to seal and work properly. After a 10 kilometer test drive, the constructors are satisfied. With the results from the Arctic Circle, they could modify the car, so everything seals correctly. Good timing, because the next test is already scheduled, high-speed driving. The high-speed test must be officially announced to make it on a special road. Back to Germany for the final endurance tests. The doors are opened and closed thousands of times. Within weeks, all the parts of the car are exposed to the mechanical movement of a car lifetime. In the light lab, the setup and function of the headlights are rechecked. And at the engine test facility, the engineers simulate a long distance ride. Will the handbrake manage a smooth start on a hill? And will the car be stable and waterproof if it's driving through water at 100 kilometers an hour and deep water? The dynamic corrosion test. The saline drizzle is a turbo ager and combined with a stone impact of a car in front, it simulates the exterior aging of years within months. After the final tests, every part of the car has been checked over and over again. It took about five years to develop the 5 Series Gran Turismo. So for the whole team, it is a very special moment to present the car. Right, here we are at the highlight of the show this year. This is the 5 Series Gran Turismo concept car and I'm joined by Adrian Van Hooyden who is now head of group design at BMW. Uh, Adrian, thanks very much. You must be very excited about this car. I am very excited. I mean, we've been working on this for quite some time and now actually premiering this car here in Geneva is a great moment.